For more on the current state of the job market for China's college graduates, my colleague Paul Barber spoke with Joe Young. He's head of data science for growth and international at LinkedIn, the professional social network. And Paul asked him about the importance of the Gaokao to future job prospects. So Gaokao is a very important moment for a lot of people in China. Uh, and uh, when we talk about the career development or the professions, it really starts from Gaokao, where you choose your university, choose your major, and that's the beginning of a professional career in the future. So a recent survey has showed that the highest paying jobs in China are now shifting from finance into the technology sector. Why do you think that's happening? Well, I think the biggest reason is the tech industry is continuing to be where the innovations are. Among the 15 largest public internet companies in the world, China has Tencent, Alibaba, Baidu, and uh, Jingdong. And China has also uh, some of the highest evaluated unicorns. And uh, there's no need to mention uh, a lot of startups that are doing really well. And all these companies are willing to pay very good salaries for top talents. And that's why we are seeing the talents are flowing to cities where these op opportunities are. The top five cities in China with net influx of uh, internet talents are um, Shanghai, Beijing, Hangzhou, uh, Shenzhen, and uh, Tianjin. So finance jobs in the past have been described as golden bowls. Is the shine wearing off? And what are finance companies doing to try and lure the best talent back into finance? I don't think the financial sector has lost its shine. It's just the tech companies are more attractive to young people and fresh grads for uh, three main reasons. First is compositions. Um, in, on average, the tech companies are paying higher to fresh grads than financial companies, uh, which are lagging behind and with fewer opportunities ever since the financial crisis in 2008. A large proportion of the compensations from the tech companies are uh, equities, which could be really attractive if the company goes really successful. Of course, downside, there's a risk, but it's a risk that the fresh grads are willing to take. The second reason is work style. The uh, work-life balance from the tech companies are, in general, better. The third reason is the opportunities and the culture. Uh, there are several aspects to this. First, uh, the tech companies usually has a permitting value of making the world a better place, which resonates a lot with the younger generations. The second is the uh, career development opportunities and the mentoring opportunities, which help the fresh grads to grow and promote faster. The third reason is the entrepreneurship culture in the tech industry, which starts from the can-do attitude with no limit, and it really encourages people to reach above and beyond. So tech is a very broad term. What specific industries are you seeing growth in job-wise? LinkedIn China has analyzed the big data on our platform, and we found that e-commerce, uh, new media marketing, and cloud and big data to be the hottest three industries in China. Uh, in terms of skills, we found the uh, data and internet security um, statistical analysis and data mining, as well as cloud and distributed computing to be the most uh, demanded skills in China. What other graduate trends do you see emerging this year in China? And what advice would you give to any young graduates, especially if they're looking for tech jobs? Well, e-commerce will continue to be the hottest industry, attracting a lot of uh, college grads. We found 30% of e-commerce grads are from the top 10 universities, and many of them are around the Yangtze River Delta economic area. On the other hand, for people looking for jobs, I highly suggest they pay attention to areas with great potentials, including, uh, for example, virtual reality, uh, user experience design, um, the micro movie producer, and uh, uh, new media marketing.